<laughs> Ruben, what do you what do you think about Chris? Um, I, I, well, first of all, I think that uh, just making a comment, I think that uh, that Travis did the right thing. I mean, he's going to stay with his son and want to try to help him. And uh, Chris, I think he's just uh, going over uh, the edge. He can't cope. Uh, he doesn't know what to do. He's got all this anger. And uh, interestingly, uh, for me, I mean, it's the, it's the making of uh, how Chris has been turning and possibly will turn into a villain. Mm -hmm. Usually you don't see the process that creates villains. This is a very interesting uh, part of the, uh, of the show it's for me because I've never seen a villain. Uh, how, how, how do you become one? Right. And in this particular case, you kind of see his decomposition, you know, his evolution towards becoming a villain. I was stunned when he uh, tried to stab his own father. I yeah, mean, what was that fight scene like to shoot? That was kind of fun, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it was you know, kind of fun? Yeah, well, Lorenzo is a fighter. You know, he's, he's a kickboxer or a taekwondo. I don't know what his thing. So he's, he's actually a tough kid. And I hit him really hard. I didn't. We went. We went messing. <laughs> so when he was coming at me with the knife, he was not messing either. It's like it was actually, you know, it was, it was kind of dangerous. So I had great pleasure in choking him out. And, 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 <laughs> and, and, and no, but but he, what was great about it, just as comrades and in, in, in the trenches, as as you know, he handled it really well. And he was a tough kid, and and we we kind of enjoyed that. It was. Do you remember the back? The, the back, satisfying. You know,